How's it going? David Crandall here with the NFL Studio tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to side chain today. Now, side chaining is a very, very easy effect and is used quite a bit in electronic music and dance music and hip hop and all sorts of electronic ish genres. And it's a very, very popular effect, and I know a lot of people try to accomplish it different ways. Um, and everybody. You know, everybody has their own way of doing it. I'm going to show you what's probably the easiest and quickest way to do it, and that's using a kick, your favorite synthesizer, and the fruity limiter. That's all you need, and it's really, really easy. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the synth that we're going to be side chaining with our kick, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you what it sounds like by itself without side chaining. <laughs> Okay, and here it is with side chaining. Notice how it kind of fades in and drops out really quickly with the kick. Sounds pretty cool. Really, really popular effect. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's really, really easy. I'm going to go ahead and create a new document or a new project. Don't need to save that. And uh, I'm using the Club Basic. Um, template right now so if you don't know how to get to that you can just go to file new from template and then club basic with limiter next thing you want to do or that I'm gonna do anyways I'm gonna get rid of the clap hi-hat and the snare so because I don't really need those for these tutorial um, now I want to create a pattern a kick pattern and it's basically gonna kick every beat so I'm gonna go right click the kick channel fill each four steps that creates a nice little pattern for us very easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and put that in our playlist a few times, about four times. Next thing I want to do is I want to go to pattern two and I want to add a citrus synthesizer. You can use whatever synthesizer you'd like, but for this I'm going to be using the citrus synthesizer and I'm going to use a particular preset. It's called the Eurogate. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool and I think it sounds good with this effect. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the piano roll and I'm going to create a really, really quick chord progression that goes from A minor to F. Do the bass notes first. There we go. Now this is how this pattern sounds. Okay, sounds pretty good. Gonna go ahead and put that in our playlist. Go to song mode, listen to it all together. Okay, that synthesizer's kinda loud. I'm gonna turn it down about a quarter of the way. Okay, so now we've got those two things. Now we need to put our two instruments in the mixer. So I'm going to pull up the kick. The kick is already in channel one, so I don't need to worry about that. Pull up the Eurogate and put that in channel two. Now we're going to pull up the mixer, and we want to link the kick drum into insert two. And it's really easy to do that. It's one click of a button. You just go down here where this gray area is, this little arrow. Click it, and then turn this knob down. Because if you don't turn it down, then the volume's going to double. The volume of the kick is going to double. We really don't want to do that. We just want to get the kick signal in there so that we can do the side chaining effect. So, select channel 2, and we're going to put the fruity limiter in it. Boom. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen to it. Pretty much sounds the same. Now we're going to switch this from limit to compress. And then right here where you see this box that has the word sidechain under it, go ahead and bring it up to 1. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to our loudness area. This is where a lot of the magic happens. 
bring your threshold down pretty low, probably right about there. And then turn your ratio up all the way, probably, would be a good idea. Now we'll go ahead and give it a listen. Sounds pretty good. The thing I'm noticing is it's coming in pretty quickly, so I'll go ahead and tweak with the release here. And that's pretty much it. Just tweak the threshold, the ratio, and the release to get the exact effect that you want. And that's all there is to it. Really easy, isn't it? Really easy. Bam, I am good. I'm just kidding. But that's it. That's all there is to side chaining. So I hope that helps you in making music. If you're making electronic music or whatever, this effect helps you out or at least gives you a new effect to work with in your music. Um, but yeah, this is another one of my FL Studio tutorials. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. If you have any questions about this tutorial or have any questions about FL Studio or recording music in general, send me a message or leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you and create a tutorial video on that subject. And um, yeah, and then last but not least, please subscribe to this channel so that I can keep you updated with new FL Studio tutorials and music tutorials and things like that. And yeah, we'll all have a good little friendship going here. I'm awkward. Well, anyway, I hope you learned from this tutorial. Please subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. And until next time, have fun making music.